Oxford Reading Tree. Biff, Chip and Kipper Stories. Level 8. Written by Roderick Hunt. Illustrated by Alex Brichter. Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichter. Published by Oxford University Press, 2011. Hi everyone, this is Miss Tom. Today, let's read a story called The King Lepers. Uh-oh, I don't like these bears. They look fierce and nasty. What are they doing? One of the bears is pushing someone into a car. The other two are watching. They are kidnappers. Kidnappers 就是绑架者. They are bad bears. The bear in the car looks frightened. Who are these bears? Where are they? What might happen in this story? Let's read a story together. Kippa was sad because the magic key would not glow. He looked at the key for a long time. At last, he fell asleep. Suddenly, the key glowed and the magic began to work. Do you remember in stage 7, we read a story called The Lost Key. In that story, Kipper lost the magic key. The children went through a lot of trouble to get the key back. But the key would not glow. Kipper was sad because he thought he broke the key. Finally, the key glowed. Kippa must be so happy and relieved. But Kippa fell asleep. Let's wake him up. But how? Kippa's toys were coming to life. Teddy gave Kippa a shake. Wake up, he said. The magic key is glowing. Oh, the magic is working. In the past, the magic key glowed. It took the children to a magic adventure. It had never done anything to the toys before. The magic was working. And it was different. What do you think Kipper was thinking? He was so shocked. He didn't know what to think. <coughs> Kipper sat up and rubbed his eyes. He looked at his toys. Come on, Kipper, said Katsimir. Hurry up. It's time for a magic adventure. Why did Kipper rub his eyes? He couldn't believe what he saw. I must be dreaming. Toys don't move. And they certainly don't talk. Which toys came to life? Teddy the bear. Katsimir the cat. And Bunny. Oh, what was the name of the bunny? I'm sure we'll find out later. 
What was the name of the toy cat? His name was Katimia. The toys ran to the little house. Hurry up, Keeper! Called Teddy. Be quick, or it will be too late. Keeper could feel the magic working. It pulled him inside the magic house. Keeper, what are you wearing? Pajamas and no shoes. But Keeper had no time to change. I hope they were not going to a jungle or a red hot desert. The magic wheezed Kipper round and round. Oh, help! Called Kipper. I feel different. This is a different sort of magic. What was happening? Keeper was changing. His nose was getting darker. His skin was getting browner. <gasps> His pajamas were changing too. There were suitcases whizzing around. This was a different sort of magic. Where would the magic take them? The magic took them to an airport. It was a very busy airport. Katsimia was excited. Maybe we can catch a plane, he said. Maybe we can have an exciting adventure. <coughs> Where was Kippa? There he was, right by the door. Oh dear! Kippa turned into a bear. <gasps> the airport looked strange too. Who were behind the checking counters? I think they were dogs. It was definitely not London Airport or Beijing Airport. Which airport was it? Look at the sign. It said, "Birmingham Airport." Ha! Huh. There were bears everywhere. They were going to Switzerland. They are going to the teddy bear's picnic," said Teddy. They have one every year. <laughs> teddy bear's picnic. That sounded like a fun event. <laughs> Do you know there's a popular children's song in English called "The Teddy Bear's Picnic." It goes like this. Picnic time for teddy bears. The little teddy bears are having a lovely time today. Isn't it fun? I never knew the picnic was in Switzerland. <laughs> Have you been to Switzerland? Do you want to go with the teddy bears? Which flight should we take? Let's see. Well, I surely don't want to be in the flight that went lost. Where did teddy bears go to have their teddy bears picnic? They went to Switzerland. Maybe we can go too," said Bumbery. Kipper was not so sure. How can we? He asked. 
of course we can go," said Teddy. "This is a magic adventure." Now we finally know what Bunny's name was, Bunbury. <coughs> Kippa and his friends were going to Switzerland to the teddy bear's picnic. How exciting! <coughs> what happened next? Let's find out in the next episode. See you next time. Episode, 